Business University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. With the nights at their longest and the weather at its worst, we hope a new crop of alumni teams will be trying once again to do festive cheer from some very hard questions in our special seasonal series for graduates. The student competition is on hold from tonight until the new year, and in its place, distinguished alumni from 14 UK universities and colleges will play seven heats of which the four highest scoring winners will progress. Now, first up tonight are four alumni of Edinburgh University. Their first player is a writer on architecture and former editor of the Architectural Review. She's been awarded an MBE for services to architectural journalism and in 2021 was appointed president of the 20th Century Society. Their second player credits her current career to a timely intervention from Clarissa Dixon Wright, who suggested that she might prefer cookery school to consultancy. The MasterChef crown soon followed and paved the way for books, television programmes and a group of restaurants inspired by her love for the food of Mexico. Their captain is a comedian and actor whose television roles have taken him from the pastel paradise of Balamori to being verbally abused in a toilet by Malcolm Tucker. His radio work includes the comedy In and Out of the Kitchen and four years at the helm of the news quiz. Their final player is an expert on Latin American literature and culture, known particularly for his work on Gabriel García Márquez and the Latin American boom of the 1960s and 70s. He's also a former president of the Association of Hispanists of Great Britain and Ireland. Let's meet the Edinburgh team. Hello, I'm Kath Slesser. I graduated in architecture from the University of Edinburgh in 1984, and now I'm an architectural writer and editor. Hi, I'm Thomasina Myers. I graduated from Edinburgh in 1999, where I studied modern languages. I am a cookbook author, a restaurateur, and a chef. This is their captain. Uh, I'm Miles Jupp. Uh, I graduated with a degree in divinity in 2005. Uh, I am an uh, actor and writer. Hi, I'm Phil Swanson. I graduated from Edinburgh in 1984 with a PhD in Hispanic Studies. Um, I'm now an academic and a writer specialising in Spanish, Portuguese and Latin American culture. Now, playing on behalf of the University of Leicester this year is a writer, broadcaster and educator whose work examines relationships between race, gender and popular culture. His most recent book is a musical history of modern black Britain and he co-hosts the Radio 4 music programme Add to Playlist. To his left is a journalist whose 25-year career has included stints as Midlands correspondent and Wales correspondent for BBC News and presenting BBC Breakfast and the Crime Watch Roadshow. She's also a Welsh language broadcaster and documentary maker. Their captain is an award-winning science communicator and ambassador for STEM education. His popular science programmes include Bangos the Theory, City in the Sky and Britain Beneath Your Feet. And he's written an illustrated guide to leaving the planet, which we may all need a copy of before too long. Their final player is a physicist whose research focuses on satellite observation of changes to the Greenland and Antarctic ice sheets. He's the director of the NERC Centre for Polar Observation and Modelling and Principal Scientific Advisor to the European Space Agency's Cryosat mission, which is Europe's first spacecraft dedicated to the study of ice. Let's meet the Leicester team now. Hello, my name is Geoffrey Boachie. I graduated from the University of Leicester in 2003 with a degree in English. I'm a writer, journalist and radio broadcaster. Hello, I'm Sean Lloyd. I graduated from the University of Leicester in 1990 with a Bachelor of Laws. I trained as a solicitor, went on to be a journalist, and I'm a broadcaster and presenter in English and Welsh. Their captain? Hi, I'm Dallas Campbell. I graduated in 1992. I studied drama and English, and I'm now a science television presenter. Hi, I'm Andrew Shepherd. I spent most of the 1990s in Leicester getting two degrees in physics. 
and I'm a climate scientist. OK, I reckon you all know the rules. It's ten points for starter questions. They're solo efforts. Bonuses are team efforts. You can confer on those. Fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first starter for ten. Probably native to southeastern Asia. What pungent underground stem is in Japan pickled and eaten as an accompaniment to Edinburgh sushi? Edinburgh Myers. Ginger. Correct. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on ghosts in literature. In which 1987 Pulitzer Prize winning novel by Toni Morrison does the malevolent presence of an abusive ghost haunt the home of Seetha and her 18 year old daughter Denver? I think it's Beloved. That's the only one I know yes, that she wrote. Beloved. Yes, uh, Beloved. Correct. The protagonist of which novella by Henry James believes she encounters the ghosts of the former servants Miss Jessel and Peter Quint? Turn of the screw. Turn of the screw. Correct. In Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol, Scrooge is visited by four ghosts. The ghosts of Christmas is past, present and yet to come. And which other? Jacob Marley. Jacob Marley. Jacob oh, Marley. Uh, ghost of Jacob Marley. Jacob Marley's correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> Quote, it's a song that's got a lot of nostalgic resonance for many of the people who sing it. The big thing is the simplicity of the melody and there's something in the lyrics. These words refer to which song which became an unofficial anthem of the England football team at Euro 2020? Edinburgh Swanson. Sweet Caroline. Sweet Caroline is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on the African leader Kenneth Kaunda, who died in 2021. Kaunda led which landlocked country in South Central Africa to independence from British rule in 1964, remaining its president until 1991. Zambia. Okay. Zambia. Zambia. Zambia is correct. Kaunda was a leading figure in which international organization founded in 1961 as a response to decolonization and the Cold War? It is known by the initials NAM. National Movement. African National Movement. National, National, National African Movement? No, it's the Non-Aligned Movement. Oh. Kaunda allowed which political party and black nationalist organisation to set up a base in Lusaka when it was banned in South Africa? ANC? African ANC. National Congress. Uh, the African National Congress. African National Congress. Yes, the right. Ten points for this. A chief constituent of both natural gas and biogas, what simple hydrocarbon is sometimes called marsh gas or swamp gas. Mr Campbell. Methane. Methane is correct, yes. <laughs> you can say the bonus is on liqueurs. The liqueur known as a and b consists of brandy blended with which other liqueur to which the phrase Deo Optimo Maximo is sometimes attached? Brandy. Start with B. Benedictine. 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 Could do. Yeah, I could do. Benedictine? Yes, as if you'd never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> Originating in Italy, which liqueur consists of oranges blended with brandy and saffron and has a Latin derived name indicative of its colour? Contra. 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 No, it's aurum. Which yellow liqueur contains a blend of herbs, including mint and fennel, and has a name that means which? That's W-I-T-C-H in Italian. The only one I know is limoncello, but I don't know if that's correct. No, I don't know. I don't think it's We don't know. Uh, limoncello, we don't know. No, it's strega. Right, we're going to take a picture around now. For your picture starter, you'll see a map showing the only area where a particular foodstuff can be legally produced. The ten points give both the name of that foodstuff and the name of the place with which it's primarily associated. Edinburgh Jump. Is it Stilton and Melton Mowbray? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Lester Shepherd. Pork pies, Melton Mowbray. It is pork pies and Melton Mowbray. Yes. <laughs> Your picture bonus is I simply want you to identify three more foodstuffs with protected geographical status from maps showing the areas where they can be legally produced. Firstly, this cheese. Um. Uh, Gosh, Leicester? I mean, that's a cheese, isn't it? Stilton. Stilton. 
It's Derbyshire. Might be Leicester, because we're from Leicester. I think he gets it. Oh, is that? Where's Stilton made? That's got to be further south than that. Gosh, we go over I'm going to say, st- I'm going to say, yeah, well, sure. what do you think? I'd say Stilton. Stilton. Stilton is correct. Secondly, this food stuff. <sighs> is that going to be some sort of smoke fish? Arbroath smokies? Arbroath yeah. smokies. Arbroath smokies? They are Arbroath smokies, yes. And finally, this culinary plant. OK. North Yorkshire? Yeah. Mm. Eccles it's cakes or something? No, they're from no, no, Manchester. No, no, Manchester. It's a plant. Rhubarb. Plant. Rhubarb. 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 It is Yorkshire Force rhubarb. Well done. <laughs> right. Ten points for this. What common practice is observed in the celebration of festivals such as the Thai festival of Loy Krathong, which pays homage to the goddess of water, the African-American holiday Kwanzaa, the Hindu festival Diwali, and the Jewish festival... Edward Slessor. Light. The festivals of light. I'll accept that, yes. <laughs> it's the lighting of candles. Right, your bonuses this time are on scientific terms. They identify each term from the description. They all begin with the same three-letter prefix. Firstly, in psychology, a behavioural process whereby a response becomes more frequent or more predictable as a result of reinforcement, typically a stimulus or reward, as studied by Ivan Pavlov. Just call this person. Pavlovian, Pavlovian response. Yeah. Pavlovian response. No, it's conditioning. In chemistry, the mass, volume or number of moles of solute present in proportion to the amount of solvent or total solution. So it starts with CO in... Is that its consistency or something? It begins with C. It begins with C. So it's saying three letters, didn't it? Yeah. Consistency. 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 Consistency? No, it's concentration. In physics, the process by which heat is transferred from one place to another by the movement of a heated fluid such as air or water. Conduction. Conduction. No, it's convection. Oh, right, ten points for this. Which Frank Capra film of 1946 built a widespread following only after it temporarily fell out of copyright and was broadcast routinely during the Christmas period? Lester Campbell. It's a Wonderful Life. Yes. You get a set of bonuses on the US historian Barbara Tuchman. Tuchman's 1962 work, The Guns of August, concerns the early months of which 20th century conflict? Vietnam? No, it's World War I. Tuchman won the second Pulitzer Prize for Stillwell and the American experience in which country between 1911 and 1945? This country was an Allied power during World War II. One of the Allies, I've got to guess. France. Don't know, sorry. I don't know. 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 France. No, it's China. Stillwell was chief of staff to Chiang Kai-shek. A later work by Tuchman concerns, quote, the Pursuit of Policy Contrary to Self-Interest. Its title is The March of Folly, from Troy to which country in mainland Southeast Asia? Total blank here. Southeast Asia. In a country in Southeast Asia, India. No, it's not southeast, is it? No. India's not southeast. No. no. Scratch that. Malaysia. Korea or something like that, I don't know. South Korea. No, it's Korea. Vietnam. <laughs> Ten points for this. What silver medal depicts on its obverse side the slaying of a dragon and was instituted in 1940 to supersede a previous award known as the Empire Gallantry Medal? It was awarded to Edinburgh the NHS. The George Cross? Correct, yes. Well done. You get a set of bonuses on plants that are a valuable food source for birds in the colder months. <laughs> Give the common name of each plant from the description. Firstly, also known as the may tree, its white or occasionally pink flowers fade to produce deep red fruits that are a favourite of blackbirds and red wings. No idea. Any thoughts at all? Try the rowan. I don't know. Rowanberry. Rowanberry. 
No, it's the hawthorn. Secondly, Dipsacus felonum, a tall architectural plant with distinctive spiky conical seed heads. These are especially popular with goldfinches. No ideas. Is, it, is there something called drunken something? Dipso something? <laughs> <laughs> I will have to pass. We're absolutely baffled. That's a teasel. Jeez. And finally, Sorbus acuparia, also known as the mountain ash. This tree's autumnal red berries attract a variety of birds. That could be the rowan. Could be the rowan again. Rowan is correct. Oh. Right. With the scores on 70 and 50, we're going to take a music round. For your music starter, you'll hear a song from a film. Ten points if you can name the film. I got no strings to hold me down. Lester Boachie. Pinocchio. Pinocchio is correct. Well done. An embarrassing thing to know, but useful nonetheless. <laughs> well, you heard Pinocchio's solo number, I've Got No Strings. For your music bonuses, you're going to hear three more songs from films involving puppets or dolls. For five points, please name each film. First... What do you see? You keep Chitty, chitty, bang, bang. Correct. Secondly, this British film based on a French opera... Come on. Um, the little match girl, I don't know. Say again. The matchstick girl, something like that. Matchstick girl. No, it's the doll song from the Tales of Hoffman. And finally... High on a hill was a lonely goat herd Sound of music. This is the sound of music. I thought you were going to sing it for a second. I was almost going to sing it. Thought better off. you didn't. <laughs> right, ten points for this. Paving the way for charitable endeavours such as Live Aid... A concert held in August 1971 and organised by George Harrison and the Sitters. Edinburgh's Lesser. Bangladesh, concert for Bangladesh. Correct. <laughs> right, these bonuses are on 21st century films shot or screened entirely in black and white. In each case, name the film from the description. Firstly, Anton Corbine's 2007 film based on the memoirs of Deborah Curtis. That's According cool. to Corbine, it was shot in colour, but printed in black and white to reflect the atmosphere of Joy Division and the mood of the era. Uh, it's uh, Control. Control is correct. Robert Eggers' 2019 psychological thriller starring William Dafoe and Robert Pattinson as two men trapped on a bleak and isolated island. Uh, the Lighthouse. Correct. And finally... A 2011 film concerning a matinee idol's struggle to adapt to the new era of talking movies. Jean Dujardin won a Best Actor the at the artist, Academy Award. The Artist. Uh, the Artist. The Artist is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. Situated close to the A1 and a few miles inland from the North Sea, which market town has the UK's only poison garden, growing around 100 toxic and narcotic plants? And a letter. Anik. Anik is correct. Well done. <laughs> These bonuses are on albums released in 1971. Which 1971 live album by Emerson, Lake and Palmer is an art rock interpretation of an 1874 piano suite by Mussorgsky? Pictures from an exhibition, is it? Yeah. I think so. Pictures from an exhibition? Pictures at an exhibition is correct, yes. Brown Sugar and Wild Horses are tracks on which 1971 studio album by the Rolling Stones. Its Sticky original fingers. cover featured a real-life working zipper on an image of a pair of men's jeans. Sticky fingers. Correct. Which singer-songwriter released the album entitled Blue? Its tracks include Carrie and The Last Time I Saw Richard. Joni Mitchell. Joni Mitchell. Yeah, Joni. Uh, Joni Mitchell. Joni Mitchell is correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> in what decade did Boxing Day become a public holiday in England and Wales through an act of Parliament? 
The same decade saw the publication of George Eliot's Middle March, the end of Gladstone's first ministry, the Franco-Prussian War... Edinburgh Myers. 1890. No, you lose five points. The Franco-Prussian War and the first FA Cup final. You may not confer. One of you may buzz. Lester Campbell. 1910. That's the 1870s. Ten points for this. Meaning producers of offspring, a Latin term for the lowest-ranked Roman citizens, is the basis for what designation used by Karl Marx for the class of wage workers who are engaged in industrial production? It is often Mr. used... Mr Boachi. Proletariat. Proletariat is correct. <laughs> you get three bonuses on a 19th-century novel. First published anonymously on New Year's Day in 1818... Which novel begins with a letter from Russia addressed to a Mrs. Saville in England? Dostoevsky? Could it be? Is it Crime and Punishment? Yeah. Crime and Punishment? No, it's Frankenstein or the modern Prometheus. <laughs> After the creature's disappearance, he and Victor Frankenstein meet again at the Mer de Glace, a 200 metre deep glacier on the north side of which Alpine peak? It's Mont Blanc. It's the only one I can think of. For Mont Blanc. It's Mont Blanc. It's, yeah. it's going to be a famous one in Switzerland or something. Just name a famous one in Switzerland. It, Is there one? It was Mont Blanc. We're going to go Mont Blanc. Well, you're going correctly. Yes. Well done. And to work on a female companion for the creature, Victor journeys to which island group separated from the Scottish mainland by the Pentland Firth? The Hebrides? The Hebrides? Yeah. The Hebrides. That's not the Pentland Firth, is it? Um, it's not the Hebrides, it's... Uh, Shetland and Orkney. the ones on the east which is the closest one, whichever it is, Shetlands or Orkney. We're going to go with... Orkney. <laughs> well, you're right! <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going to take a picture around now. You're going to see a still from a film. Ten points if you can give me the film's title. Edinburgh Slicer. Blade Runner. Blade Runner is correct. <laughs> Following on from that image of Roy Batty's final speech in Blade Runner, your bonuses are shots from three more significant film scenes that take place in pouring rain. Five points for each film you can name. Firstly... Oh, seven Samurai. Seven Samurai. Yeah, seven Samurai. Correct. And secondly... Um, network. Network. It's correct. And finally... Is that the Truman Show? Yeah, Truman Show. Uh, the Truman Show. That is the Truman Show. <laughs> right, ten points for this. The word graminivorous refers to the eating of what? In Dickens's Hard Times, the phrase a graminivorous ruminating quadruped with several stomachs is used as a working definition of a cow. Edinburgh Jump. Grass. Grass is correct. <laughs> Right, your bonuses are on the Tokyo Paralympics. Hmm. Born in Halifax and nicknamed Hurricane, which wheelchair athlete won her seventh gold at the Tokyo Paralympics? No idea. Danny Gray. No, she's... Don't think so. I'm not sure. No. Uh, no. Anyone got anything? No. <laughs> Pass, I'm afraid. That was Hannah Cockcroft. Having won silver at Rio in 2016, Lauren Stedman won gold in what endurance sport? The venue being the Odeba Marine Park. It's not the triathlon, is it? Triathlon? Sailing. Uh, triathlon. Correct. At a venue in Izu, southwest of Tokyo, Kadina Cox won two gold medals in what sport? Archery, as a guess. <laughs> That's another guess. Uh, archery. No, it's cycling. Ten points for this. Montezuma II ruled which empire at its peak? Edinburgh Myers. Mexico. No, you lose five points. It then came with the fall of its capital in 1521 to Spanish forces. Lester Campbell. Aztec. Aztec is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses are on blood. What type of blood cells lose their nuclei on maturity? Small, round and biconcave, 
they assume a bell shape as they pass through extremely small blood vessels. Red? Red or white? Red blood cells? Hemoglobin, is it? Blood cells. We're going to say red blood cells. Correct. Secondly, the Austrian-American biologist Karl Landsteiner received a Nobel Prize in 1930 for what discovery enabling safe blood transfusions? Uh, OK. Um, Come on. Intervene. I don't know. Uh, uh, antibiotics. <laughs> no idea. No, it's blood groups or types. Discovered in 1940, the RH blood group system takes its name from which mammals whose blood was used in experiments by Landsteiner and Alexander Wiener? Rhesus monkeys. Rhesus monkeys is correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> Choreographed by Frederick Ashton and set to music by Giacomo Meyerbeer, the one-act ballet Les Patineurs features skilled and not-so-skilled displays of what seasonal activity? <laughs> Edward Swanson. Ice skating. Ice skating is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on British towns and villages whose names include the word cold. Part of Birmingham, what town is known by the title of Royal Town, according to a charter laid down by Henry VIII? With cold in. Cold in, Um... No, pass. Sorry. It's Sutton Coldfield. Shared by several English villages and a thoroughfare near Brixton Market, what name is thought to be derived from words meaning cheerless dwelling? Cold. No, pass. It's Cold Harbour. Which town in the Scottish borders gives its name to the oldest surviving regular regiment of the British Army? Coldstream. Goldstream is correct. Ten points for this. According to the Met Office, which cloud is known as the king of clouds associated with extreme weather such as torrential downpours and hailstorms? It is characterised by... Lesser. Cumulus. No, you lose five points. Lester Campbell. Cumulonimbus. Cumulonimbus is correct, yes. <laughs> so you get a set of bonuses this time on... Shakespeare's contemporaries, in each case, name the author of the following stage works. Firstly, Tamburlaine the Great and Edward II. Mar uh, uh, Marlowe. Christopher Marlowe is correct. Secondly, the Battle of Alcazar and the famous chronicle of King Edward I. Um, ben Johnson? Ben Johnson? No, that's George Peel. And finally, the Spanish tragedy and Cornelia. That might be Ben Johnson. That might be Ben Johnson. But it might not be. It's Thomas <laughs> Kidd. <laughs> Ten points for this. Born in Walsall in 1859, which author bore the middle name Klapke after an exiled Hungarian revolutionary? He is best known for... <laughs> and that be gone. Edinburgh University have 160. Leicester University have 125. So, Edinburgh, congratulations to you. And Lester, thank you very much for taking part. I hope you can join us next time for another of the heats. But until then, it's goodbye from Leicester University. Goodbye. Bye -bye. It's goodbye from Edinburgh University. Goodbye. Bye -bye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>